Welcome to Three Questions with Sally Sutherland, Director of the Naval Engineering Education Consortium, or NEEC, for the Navsea Warfare Centers. I'm Sheila Maloney, Communications Specialist for McLaughlin Research Corporation, supporting Navsea Warfare Centers corporate communications. And we started this format as a webcast during the coronavirus pandemic, re recording remotely using CVR Teams. But today, I'm very excited to be joined by Sally Sutherland at Newick headquarters for our first in-person interview to discuss Neek and her latest project, the Warfare Center's Knowledge Forum Wiki. Sally, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, I'm delighted to be here in person. Sally, you lead initiatives that connect college students with research projects and potential careers at the Naval Surface and Undersea Warfare Centers, but you've had a long and successful career at the Warfare Centers yourself. So let's start there. Could you tell us a little bit about your career, how you got started at Newark Newport Division, and how you became NEEC Director for the Warfare Centers? Sure. I've actually been working for the Navy my whole professional career. I um, went to the University of Virginia, and then I have a Master's in Ocean Engineering from the University of Rhode Island. I actually started at NUSC in New London, Connecticut in the surface ship sonar department. I worked on designing and helping new prototype uh, sonar systems. Early in my career, I was actually selected as a junior engineer to the Sackland Center in Italy, which was a lot of fun. Got to learn a little Italian. Came back and as I said, I worked on a lot of different prototypes. Had a great opportunity. I went on many Navy ships. I went on research ships, testing new systems. In fact, I was on the NOR, which was the ship that uh, founded the Titanic. Not when they found it, but a few years later. That was pretty cool. Uh, over time, I was selected as the um, Signal Processing and Environmental Acoustics branch head. I worked a lot with Office of Naval Research, which was a lot of fun. We did a lot of really interesting projects. I was engaged with what's called the Technical Cooperation Program, which is our five closest allies, the United States, U um, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. And, uh, and then I was fortunate enough to be selected as the U.S. Exchange Scientist to Australia. So my husband and kids went to Australia. My kids had their accents made fun of daily, which was good for them. It was a really wonderful experience. Uh, when I came back, I was asked to be a branch head in the submarine department. When I left, there was a surface ship department in the submarine, and they combined into sensors and sonar department. That was a very interesting experience. We, it was a very fast-paced branch. We were getting systems onto submarines, um, some very talented people. And I did that for about four years, and then I was selected as the Deputy Chief Technology Officer. And working at Newark Newport, I was familiar with the sonar department, but now as the Deputy Chief Technology Officer, I got to see what went on in all the different departments. So the torpedo department, ranges, combat systems, and I got a chance to work with the S&T community and help their technology get out into the fleet. Did that for about four years, and then I was selected as the um, S&T division head back in the sonar department. And again, I worked with some amazing people, you know, whether it was chemists, uh, mechanical engineers, transducer design, biofouling. It was really wonderful to see some of these technologies go out into the fleet. And then I was so I was the division head for about five years, and then I saw an opportunity to work for NAVC headquarters. And I was fortunate enough to be selected as the NEEC director. And just as when I was the deputy CTO and I got to see all the work done at Newark Newport, now having opportunity to work at NAVC, I get to see all the great work done at the 10 different divisions, you know, Carter Rock, ship design, or power and energy. So I feel very grateful. And I've been the uh, NEEC director now for about two years. So let's delve into NEEC a little more specifically then. By way of background, the NEEC program is directed by NAVC Warfare Center's headquarters and as you just discussed, is implemented at all 10 divisions across the country. It has three primary objectives, to acquire academic research results and products to resolve naval technolo technology challenges, to hire college graduates with naval engineering and development experience into the NAVC Warfare, where NAVC Warfare's workforce, and to develop or continue working relationships with naval engineering colleges, universities, professors, and academics. The timing of this interview is good, since the 2021 NEEC Proceedings, or annual report, is about to be released. As examples of the kinds of research projects universities are working with the Warfare Center divisions on, could you give us a sneak peek into some of the highlights in this report? Sure. A shameless plug for our NEEC <laughs> program. Hopefully people will have an opportunity to look at it. It's on our public website. Um, we 
You have some great schools, as I mentioned. Over 50 schools, universities receive grants um, from the NAFC Warfare Centers, and each Warfare Center has, you know, topics that are important to them, whether it's ship design or, for instance, um, Philadelphia is responsible for all power and energy, so they work with Rowan University doing some clever work on power for the large ships. Uh, here actually in Newark, Newport, we're working with Michigan Tech on under ice technology, you know, as the Navy goes, climate change goes further into the Arctic, those are important areas that we need to be focused in. So we can go from cold under ice to say Florida Atlantic with Panama City. They work in the warm Gulf waters on UUV technologies. They have undergrads designing software so the UUVs can communicate together, that they can navigate independently. We do some work with um, Keyport, which is responsible for obsolesc uh, keeping uh, technology in the fleet for a while. So they're worried about obsolescence. So they work with the University of Washington to make sure they can keep those systems out there as safely as possible. So a variety of different technologies that we work on, um, some really amazing schools doing some really good work for the warfare centers. Great, let's switch to a little more of an internal project because NEEC is a very public facing um, project program working with universities across the country. Your latest project, as I mentioned earlier, is the Warfare Center's Knowledge Forum Wiki, which aims to share professional development opportunities across all 10 Warfare Center divisions, including a calendar of events. Could you tell us a little bit about how this concept came about and what your goal is for the site? Sure. Actually, it started, I was talking to my husband, who's a tech warrant, and I was telling him about this really interesting talk I heard. And he goes, oh, gosh, you know, I wish I knew about that. I would have liked to have seen that talk. You know, especially in the time of COVID, a lot of stuff is done virtually, so there was that opportunity. And it really started making me think, gosh, you know, we have these 10 warfare centers with these amazing people doing amazing work. It would be really good to be able to share that information. So, as you know, we... Uh, decided to create the Warfare Center Knowledge Forum, and I appreciate your help on this. It's coming along very nicely because of you. That's very grateful. So on the Warfare Center, we have, on the Warfare Center Knowledge Forum, we have, as you said, seminars and briefs. And the goal would be for a NAFC employee <clears throat> once a week, say, to go on the website and go, oh, I wonder what's happening at the Warfare Centers today. And there could be an interesting brief on a machine learning talk or maybe a seminar on um, some new transducer design, so that everyone at the Warfare Center can have opportunity to see what's going on and how it might benefit them as well. In addition, as you know, to the seminars and briefs that are on the NICE calendar, we have a list of the um, most popular conferences so people can see when and where they are. There's uh, information on leadership development opportunities. We have the um, different Warfare Center universities, so Newark U. Um, we have resources, Resource Commons, Naval X. There's a lot of really good information on these Warfare Centers, and uh, we're trying to make it useful and valuable to the Warfare Center employees. So we'll be sure to share the link to the Warfare Center's Knowledge Forum Wiki and to the NEEC proceedings when this interview is released and the NEEC public website as well as the NEEC Facebook page and NEEC projects in the spotlight and soundings to, uh, for another shameless plug yes. um, when this interview comes out. So thanks again, Sally, for joining us for this interview and answering three questions. Oh, well, thank you very much. This has been great. Until next time, check out previous episodes on the Three Questions Wiki, follow hashtag Warfare Centers and hashtag Three Questions, that's the numeral three, on NAVC Fusion, and let us know if there's someone you'd like us to ask three questions of.